Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the September birthstone Barbies that I have in my collection. So I have a playlist of all of the months leading up to September so far, starting with January. And the two lines that I collect are the Barbie birthstone beauties collections, which are these two on the sides, and then the Barbie birthstone collection, which is the one in the middle. So I'm just going to open these up and take a look at them and make some comparisons to some of the ones I have from other months that may look similar. And just to show you guys some of their beautiful details. So as usual, we're going to start with the one in the middle. This is the birthstone collection. So the birthstone for September is the sapphire, and it's just one of the most beautiful birthstones in my opinion. I love the blue, the deep blue of this particular month and the collection. So this is a look at her box. This was a Barbie collectibles. This was um, released back in 2002. So pretty old, 20 years old to be exact. And then here is a look at the back of the box, just talking a little bit about the sapphire and some history behind that. So you can pause there if you want to read. And then let's go ahead and get this beautiful doll open. Oh, and there were two other versions for September that you could choose. There was the beautiful African-American one with the goddess face sculpt. And then there was an, this blonde one. And I really struggled between which one to get the blonde or the brunette, but I do have quite a few blondes already. So yeah, let's go ahead and get her open. Okay, so she comes with her own little certificate of authenticity, which I'm just curious, do you guys keep these? I, I haven't been keeping them to be honest. I mean, I don't really get it, but <laughs> here it is. And then she comes with her own stand, which is just one of these, these type of stands that says Barbie collectibles on it. And then she also comes with a pair of blue shoes. So these are blue pumps. And all the shoes for every month are exactly the same except for the color. And here's a look at what the shoes look like on her feet. So here's a full length look at her out of the box. She's just really beautiful. All of them are, I mean, they're so elegant. I love their dresses. And then they each come with this beautiful chiffon shawl that you can drape over them, over their shoulders or in a couple of different ways. But yeah, let's bring her in closer and take a look. So this is what the dress looks like without the shawl on. It's a beautiful form fitting. Um, I don't know if this is the correct term. I keep calling it a mermaid style where it's tight at the hips and then it, it flares out right about at the knee joint. So she's on one of those twist and turn straight arm bodies with the, the double click legs, which is always nice. She has good weight to her. And here's a closer look at the sparkle pattern on her bodice. So it's really pretty. In real life, I'm not sure if you can tell, it's a blue glitter, which has a blue and purple shine to it. And then the top of the dress is trimmed in the same chiffon fabric that's been folded over a little bit and just hangs off the shoulder. And then here is where the dress flares out at the bottom. And you can see the sparkle pattern gets more polka dotty, I guess, as you go on, as you go down. And then the back of the dress has this extra piece of fabric here, this little train. It's like a triangular, you know, you can kind of bell it out on display. And then the dress has three clasps in the back. So her hair is actually really nice for being 20 years old in the box. There's no gel, it, you know, has a little kink in it, but it's a golden brown color. It's very shiny. And then the front of her hair is just swept across her forehead. So the they mainly have two different styles. It's this swept across the forehead look, and then it's the parted down the middle, which I'll show you in a minute on a doll that looks like her. But yeah, this is one of the other styles. I don't have as many in this style. So accessory wise, she comes with a necklace. This one has a silver chain and it's a square or diamond shape. And there's a closer look at that. Just beautiful, but no earrings, no ring, unfortunately. But taking a closer look at her face, she has the beautiful Bob Mackie face sculpt. She has beautiful grayish blue eyes and she has like um, a grayish blue eyeshadow with a lighter gray along the lids. So really, really striking, beautiful face. She has almost like a brownish nude lip color, 
which looks really beautiful. She has blush on her cheeks. And these dolls are just so pretty in my opinion. They're so classy looking. The face paint is usually pretty nice. Mine has a little defect on the corner of her eye there, but nothing huge. And now I'm just going to show you a quick look at one of the other dolls that I think sort of looks like her, but is different enough. So here is Miss April, the diamond birthstone. So you can see they do look really similar. Um, September's eyes are a little bit bluer. And of course, September has more of a golden brown hair where hers is more of a flat brown, if that makes sense. And then she has that parted in the middle style I was talking about. So their lip colors are different, but their the eye area does look very similar, but it is slightly different colors. But I don't, I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind collecting all of these. I really, really enjoy them. So there she is. And let's take a look at the Barbie birthstone beauties now. So here are the Barbie birthstone beauties still in their boxes. And this was a doll line that was released in 2007. And each month they came out with two versions of the birthstone doll. So they always had a lighter skin version and a darker skin version. And I've been collecting both versions for each month. So when I'm done collecting, I should have 24 in total. So as usual, we're going to take a closer look at the darker skin one, and then we're going to open this one and compare the two, and then just compare to see what other months look similar to see if they're actually different dolls. So here's a look at their box. It's always in this pretty gem shape, and then it comes out. It's like a 3D style. It comes out like that. And then the background is really beautiful. It's on this rainbow holographic um, cardstock, which looks so pretty when you display them on their shelves. You can definitely see why people keep them in the box, but her box is pretty damaged and beat up. And then the back of the box just has some information about the birthstone for Sapphire. This gem is thought to give you a year of peace, truth, and prosperity, and that the stone brings you comfort, courage, and strength. So we can see all the other birthstones here on the back. And Sapphire is just really pretty. It's definitely one of my favorites. So yeah, let's go ahead and get them both open. So these dolls also come with their own stands. They just come with a white generic stand with that type of um, hook thing. And then she also comes with her own certificate, uh, Birthstone Beauties Collection, Miss Sapphire. So here's a full length view of her. She's very beautiful. She's on the model muse body. She has a kind of like a cross-legged pose and her arms are bent, one arm straight and one arm is bent. And then she does come with more accessories than the other doll does. So let's take a closer look. Each doll in this line comes with their own little pet. So they each come with a, a dog or a puppy. And some of them have been repeating, but this is a new dog, I noticed. This one is, I think it's a Westie or a West Highland Terrier. My uncle has one of these, and that's the only reason I know what it is. But really cute. They do a pretty good job with the sculpting and the face paint. And they all come with a little crown. <laughs> so it's either gold or silver, and it usually matches their jewelry. And each one is tied on with a very thin little satin ribbon that they use as a leash. So here's a, a closer look at this little puppy. Very cute. And then taking a look at her dress, it is, it's a beautiful knee length style dress. And it is satin underneath with this lace overlaying it. And then each one has a beautiful satin ribbon in the same kind of colors. Very monochromatic, the whole outfit. But a beautiful um, ribbon and then... And there's a closer look at her shoes. They're these cute little open-toed heels. All of these ones also have their toenails and their fingernails painted, which is a really cute detail. Just fun to have that extra little glam factor. And then they each come with three pieces of jewelry. So here's a closer look at her bracelet. It's silver and it has a few of these little silver charms in the shape of a heart. And then it comes with one crystal and it's always in the color of the birthstone, of course. So there's her little bracelet. There's a closer look, look at her nails as well. And then the necklace has three large, larger crystals. So one larger one with two smaller ones, you can kind of see. There's a closer look and it's on a silver chain. And then they all also have a pair of birthstone colored earrings. So you can see those. Take a look there. 
So on her shoulders, she's wearing a velvety style bolero jacket, short sleeve. And then here's what the back of it looks like. And then her dress is connected with snaps, which is always nice as well. And then here's a look at what her hair looks like. There's the general length of it. Um, again, it's been in a box for almost 20 years, so it's a little matted, but the back is pretty straight. She has one of these things I forgot to cut out, but they do curl the front just for display. A lot of people do keep these in the box. So yeah, let's take a closer look. So she has dark brown hair and it's kind of swept across her forehead in a deep side part. And then the little piece in the front is connected up here like that. And taking a look at her beautiful face, she has the Steffi face mold and just beautiful. She has like a blue metallic and silver eyeshadow look. Her eyes are brown with a golden brown highlight. So they, they look lighter than just a flat brown. And then her beautiful lips are, I would say like a, almost a dusty rose, shiny metallic color, but really, really beautiful. I think this one is gorgeous. Okay guys, I'm gonna insert this little clip in. As I was going to edit this video, I realized when I did my comparisons for the darker skinned one, it, I didn't press record. <laughs> so anyway, just gonna shove this in here. This is um, our September Sapphire Barbie and I just wanted to show you a comparison to see if anybody looks exactly like her or if there's enough differences. So I tried to pick the ones with the darkest hair and this one is Miss April. And she does look pretty similar hair wise. I would say almost exactly the same hair color, but as you can see, there are a lot of differences within the eye makeup and the lip color. So I do think these look different enough to be two separate dolls. Next, we have our July Birthstone Beauty, and she also looks pretty similar, but I think that September's hair is a tiny bit lighter. And then they do have some differences within the eye makeup. July is more dramatic. And then July has a darker red lip color. So, yep, they look different enough to me. And lastly, we have Miss January or Miss Garnet. And they also look pretty similar hair color wise, but I think that the lip color is darker and the eyeshadow makeup is a little bit different. So yeah, they do look kind of similar, but I think they also look different enough to be two separate dolls. And here she is next to the Caucasian one that I just opened, or the lighter skinned one. So very beautiful, very different. Um, lots of differences between the two. I mean, obviously the hair color, skin color, eye color, and makeup, but yeah, I feel like it's just different themes. Like even their lip colors are different, but yeah, just beautiful. So let's take a closer look at her. So there's a quick full length view of her just so you can get a, an idea of her overall look. And she has brighter red painted nails. Um, she's very like, she reminds me of Supergirl. I don't know, maybe it's all the blue, yellow hair and the, the red lipstick. I don't know, she's just giving me Supergirl vibes. But just really pretty, um, very striking with those bright bright blue eyes and then the very beautiful cherry red lips really think this one is gorgeous so i do have two other blonde ones i'm just going to compare them really quick to see how similar or different they are to each other so this one here next to her is miss march um, already i can tell there's a big difference with the hair color september is a lighter like a paler blonde and march is a more golden blonde they both have pretty similar eye colors except that September's are completely blue and March has a highlight in there like a lighter I don't even I can't even tell what color that is maybe like a, almost a white light light blue highlight and then their lip colors are also pretty different so March is more pink and September is red really pretty though and then here is April. They have pretty similar hair colors. I have two different color lights. This light on this side is a more white light and this side on this side is more of a golden light. So I don't know if that's making a difference, but their hair colors I think in real life are pretty similar. Um, eye colors are very similar, blue and blue. Lip colors are different. So we have the lighter pinkish purple and then the bright red. And then the eye shadow is 
a little bit different. They both have sort of silver shadow on the lids. Hers is blue though in the crease and hers is more of a taupe color. So yep, still totally not the same. It's a bit different. Very similar though, but different enough for me to be happy that I had them both. And here's one last look of them side by side. Just everything else is exactly the same. You know, their accessories and their outfits and their, their pets and everything. Hers fell off. That's the only reason why it's not on here. But yeah, I love that there's two options to collect as well. So here is one last look of all three of my September birthstone Barbies. I did notice when I was looking around on eBay that they have some other beautiful sapphire birthstone dolls that they don't seem to have in different birthstones. I don't know why sapphire seems to be pretty popular, but I might like in the future collect more of the sapphire ones. I know there's a gorgeous Kira face sculpt one that I would like to add. But anyway, here they are. So we only have a couple months left. I hope you guys enjoy this review. I'll leave a link to my playlist of all the other months below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.